Good afternoon and <laughs> welcome, welcome. Getting a lot of light from the, the window I'm next to. Welcome, welcome to class. Welcome to Holiday Gadget and Gift Ideas. Let me introduce myself if you haven't been in one of my classes before. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Library in Evans, Georgia, the Harlem Library, and also the Uchi Creek Now Grow Town Library with the new building and everything. And very glad that you're here with me today. So what we're going to cover today is we're going to talk about uh, gift ideas, things that are good ideas to purchase, um, presents for Christmas and the holidays and everything, and kind of talk a little bit about tech and stuff and kind of what to look for when buying like a laptop or something. So welcome, welcome. So let's talk about some of our other upcoming classes that we have going on. And also, I always start off with the first question is, how can I help? So definitely feel free to post any questions that you have into the chat. Like I said, I always want to ask, how can I help? If you have any questions, definitely feel free to post them in there. Happy to, um, to answer any questions you have. Let's talk about some of the classes that we have coming up for this month. Of course, we are in December, December only. I have three weeks of classes. So this week we're doing our holiday gadget and gift ideas. And tomorrow, join us at nine o'clock. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> tomorrow's the ninth. Join us at 11 o'clock tomorrow for internet shopping and digital couponing, okay? Lots of great deals out there. We'll talk about that, that. how to even, uh, I may even throw in there how to kind of recognize kind of like a scam site because there's a lot going on right now that it looks like a legitimate site and how to basically keep yourself safe when you're shopping online. And then tomorrow afternoon, we'll be doing one of our holiday classes. Holiday 3D, we'll be using the free Blender software. We're going to be making a 3D snowman, okay? And this is all kind of leading up to the end of the month. We'll be doing an animation with Blender, so be ready for that. So not only will we create the snowman, but also we'll color the snowman as well, okay? And then on the 10th, join us at 11 o'clock. We're going to be doing a second time our holiday coding with Python. We're going to be making some digital snowflakes. So we're going to be using Python code and the turtle, uh, the drawing turtles that are built into that. And we'll be making some digital snowflakes. So come join me for that. And then uh, uh, Thursday afternoon, we'll be doing a very important class, Cut the Cable, the Basics of Cord Cutting. Why this is important, even if you've had my class before, the big thing is a lot of the companies now are, are going up in price here in December. We'll be talking about that, different options. We'll also be talking about antennas and some services that have stopped uh, working. And I'll tell you about some um, stuff that I personally had to deal with and also making some new choices for the future as well. Okay, And also upcoming stuff, we'll explain how you can get a free uh, box if you have Comcast Internet. You can get a free uh, flex box. If you contact them, you get one for free, and then the rest they charge $5 a month. But it's get you ready. And then next week we'll be doing our, our Raspberry Pi project class with some LEDs and multicolor changing them and stuff. And then of course we'll be doing our digital snowflake class on that Wednesday. And then we'll be doing a gadget help on Wednesday, um, Wednesday afternoon. So come join me for that on Facebook Live. And then on the 17th we'll be doing our Let's Make a Snowman again. And then that all leads up to our Final big big class here is our holiday 3D blender animate a snow scene. So we'll have a car drive to like a 3D village. So come join us for that. So definitely look back about our other classes, but I always want to say our classes you may want to come to the latest one because I'll have the most the most up-to-date information on those. All right, just a little side note here. If you're looking some for some free ebooks and free digital audiobooks, just realize all you need is your library card. Download the, the new Libby app. Uh, don't say uh, Columbia County when it asks you what library you're with. Don't say Columbia County. Don't say Grovetown. Don't say Harlem. Say Greater Clarksville Regional Library System. And then click Georgia Download Destination. Enter your library card and you should be all set to go. On a little bit of a side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside holds pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on 
uh, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right now we're having a subscribe drive. If we can get 100 subscribers to our YouTube channel, we actually will get our own customized YouTube address. Okay. So don't forget to do that. Or you can always look for, search YouTube for GCHRL videos and you'll find our channel like that. All right, so let's go back here and let's go ahead and start talking about our holiday gifts and everything. <laughs> the light from my window is hitting it just perfect. It's kind of interesting because uh, throughout the, I guess, the few months of doing our classes online, staying safe and everything, uh, the light changes at the different times. So it's kind of interesting to see that in real life. I always knew that, but it's interesting seeing that in real life as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and open our syllabus here. And one of the things I'm also going to post it. So let me go ahead. I'll have that open here. And I'll go ahead and load that so I can post that in the handout there. Any questions before we get started? Okay, it's loading. A uh, big thing this year, of course, is the Instapots. So if you have a family member that doesn't have one, that's a great gift. And usually during the holiday season here is when they're on uh, their cheapest because usually they're on sale. And of course, if someone has one, maybe an Instapot accessories. Maybe there's certain things they like to cook or wish they could. And remember, Instapots too have two rings one that's more for salty stuff and one for sweet stuff yeah I'm still getting the the sun on my face a little bit but I think that's okay all right so let's go ahead and let's talk about what we're going to cover so this is kind of a guide and also I'm going to be including um, links to <laughs> see if I move a little bit there I'll also be including some links that uh, Let's see if I do. Oh, well, at least that makes the light even. So there we go. A little bit too much light on one side, but that's okay. All right. So we'll have our gadgets and gift ideas for the holidays here. And I'll also have links to uh, some of our gift guides and everything as well. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's talk about what we're going to cover. We're going to cover laptops and notebooks. Okay. We'll talk about ultra books. Um, iPads, we'll talk about Android tablets, Windows tablets, ebook readers, digital cameras, and I'll also be talking about um, uh, the Google devices and also the Surface devices as well. So the Windows tablet and kind of kind of compare those a little bit as well. So if you're having a little bit of confusion about what those mean, we'll talk about that, the advantages and disadvantages of that. We'll talk about different ebook readers. We'll talk about uh, purchasing a digital camera. We'll talk about flash drives, portal drives, and also we'll talk about the different streaming devices as well. The Chromecast one has actually been updated this year, so that's an interesting one to look at, and it now actually has a remote. So in the cord cutting class, we'll be adding that to our list of, um, I haven't used one personally. I've, I have a Chromecast, but of course the original one doesn't have a remote. So I have always recommended the, the Roku to that. So we'll see what that's like. We'll talk about free HD uh, digital TV from an antenna. Okay. And then we'll talk about recommended websites and it'll have some buying guide and some other stuff. If you're not really sure what to get somebody, where can you actually go to get uh, some recommendations, maybe their um, age groups, deals, different things like that. We'll actually cover more into the digital couponing class. But those are some good places. Amazon, eBay, places like that will have daily deals, and you may want to check that out. And also, hint, hint, plug, plug, talking about our other class there too, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and let's talk about la um, laptop and notebooks, and I'll actually disappear. And the interesting part is that near the end of class, I'll turn the camera back on, and our son will actually have moved 
to a different location so it won't be in my face like that which is kind of interesting even through the blind it's kind of sneaking sneaking in all right so let's talk about our laptops and notebooks this is a big one that people will say and I'll probably go ahead and open up um, a site because this is a, a big one that people ask me about uh, what what should I look for in a laptop the big thing is you don't want to go too cheap on these devices still think about six hundred dollars for a good laptop that you're going to have for a longer time than if you see one that's like three you know maybe even four hundred dollars and you go I'll go really cheap on this and it's like no you don't want to go real cheap but you want to make sure that the processor is the newest version that's really what you try to focus in on so the, I'm gonna give you a few tips here so if you just walked in the store Best Buy Walmart some like Target you know we don't really have a computer store what Best Buy is really our computer store now um, you know I guess you say back in the day we had all kind of um, just just flat out just it was a computer store but mostly we now have something that's a glorified department store or I guess you say Best Buy is kind of like a tech store so there's different types of laptops just try to keep that in mind business class uh, usually the more expensive ones uh, the budget ones of course and then we have kind of an all-purpose ones okay kind of for general use I guess you could say so how do we know the difference and what exactly are we looking for so let's talk about that the big one is of course our battery life too so what are the current specs now we're just going to be talking about um, Windows or Microsoft uh, computers or PCs Macs or PCs as well but Mac has its own uh, uh, upload system and stuff like that so it really is you're looking at a different class of computers there so the big one is the latest version and I'm really only going to talk about Intel because it can get a little confusing with the AMD uh, CPU so basically you go into a store you see a laptop what is the newest version of the processor that they have well the newest one is a generation 10 okay so i3 is good I recommend i5 or better for most people because sometimes even if it's the latest generation the i3 uh, kind of is like the low end okay so pay a little more and get the i5 just remember we're in generation 10 so if it says what generation is it now a lot of the times you can actually look at a laptop and it'll have a sticker on it the reason I mentioned laptop because it really is the the most uh, popular uh, computers that people buy now are laptops or it's the desktop computer you know talking about kind of the same thing usually so you'll see a sticker on there it'll say what generation it is or so um, I really wouldn't go uh, beyond spending you know five hundred four hundred dollars for anything that goes back to like a eighth generation processor or something like that because then you're getting into oh well if I pay two hundred dollars more could I get the latest version oh yes so be do be aware of that so let's talk about RAM at least a four gig of RAM uh, that's what you want on there uh, the more that you, gigs of RAM that you have on there just realize um, if you're someone that has a whole lot of windows open at the same time a lot of our browsers when um, internet browsers now take care of a lot of that so it will swap the memory in and out so it doesn't really feel like it's draining if you have 20 30 tabs open in your browser but still and this one the screen size really is more or less your preference do you realize the larger screen size will make the laptop bigger in physical size 15 inch screen is pretty average I'm someone I like the the 14 inch screen because it's just an inch smaller but really the laptop seems so much lighter and smaller um, so that's what I personally recommend but some people couldn't live without a 15 inch screen wanting it to be a little bit bigger okay so that's mostly your preference a big one to make sure that it's future proof is that it does have a USB uh, on it now the deals we actually have switched over to um, USB C okay USB C is a newer plug but do realize you can get a converter that'll actually convert anything that's a normal USB plug to that so that's a, um, a portion as well some of the newer laptops won't have like an HDMI plug in it 
but you can get a little converter cord, plug in the HDMI plug to connect it to your TV, and you'll be good to go. Now the thing here is about a touch screen. So do you want a touch screen? Do you not want a touch screen? It is possible you get a laptop that does not have a touch screen. It could be cheaper, okay? Um, it's all depends on what your preference is. Also things like a blacklit keyboard, is that important to you? You could work more in the dark, I guess you could say. Uh, maybe watching TV with others, have a, have a black lit keyboard. Now the biggest thing here is if you want a faster response, okay, may definitely get a solid state hard drive. So some of the cheaper models that they will still sell, let's say, you know, uh, you know Black Friday's over, but like a, a Black Friday deal or, you know, just a, you know, a deal is what they say. So. The big thing about that is you still want to get a solid state hard drive. Solid state hard drive, just kind of realize that this is turns kind of like a uh, the platters turn like a record. So that means it has to have movement to get to the, the, the point on the platter. This does not, so no movement, so it means it does operate faster. It does have um, more of a cost to it. Um, and if we actually go to... I'll show you this, the, the best laptop recommended sites. I really like uh, the CNET reviews. I've gotten a few laptops based on their reviews. So this is kind of their, um, let me make sure my, I'm going to start playing a video. Sometimes it will do that. It kind of gets annoying. We're going to talk about our different types here in just a minute, but we'll get a little bit of our preview here. So we actually have kind of our best small laptops. They recommend them a Dell. Okay. Now sometimes the price is on here. They'll actually showcase the um, the higher end model. Okay, versus more the budget model because it may have, let's say, a touch screen on it. it may have a larger hard drive on it. So just realize that. If you're dealing a lot with um, videos or pictures or whatever, you can always get an external flash drive, an external um, hard drive to plug stuff in later. Okay. Okay. So we're talking about all kinds of different ones on here. There's the recommendations for the for the Macs, and of course Macs are like a different animal, so we won't talk about that. In a minute, we'll talk about our Surface. Best uh, budget laptops is recommending an Acer Swift 3. In a minute, we'll talk about Chromebooks. Okay. One big thing about the Chromebooks now and uh, why I don't recommend them if they go past, let's say, maybe even the price of three or two fifty. Because if you're buying if you're buying a seven hundred dollar Chromebook, you need to put that towards a kind of normal laptop because you can do anything on a Chromebook that you can do on a normal Windows computer and more because it's a Windows computer. Let's talk about gaming PCs as well. Mostly you're paying a higher rate for that to have um, a uh, better uh, video card in it. Okay, But that might be what someone wants. Best work, there's a Dell Latitude. And these are the ones I really like. I really like the Lenovo Yoga ones. Sometimes I may not even really use the Yoga feature, but I do know that they're a nice, well-made, put-together uh, laptop. And they have several different models of that, too. And here's Lenovo Yoga. This is actually one I do recommend. I like this one personally. And it depends on where you can get it. So once you kind of know the model number of the one you're looking for, then that's a start. Okay. So interesting. All right, so let's keep going here. So that's kind of a recommendation. Go to a site, review site. Um, I, like I said, the CNET one I really like, some other ones as well. 
and we'll talk about those. So let's talk about what is an Ultrabook and kind of what to look for. So the pros of Ultrabook, the Lenovo Yoga is definitely like an Ultrabook, okay? What's the big pros of it? It's light, portable, probably has a better battery life, uh, cheaper than uh, most laptops, stylish design, okay? Some have no CDU drive, okay? The hybrid ones, like the ThinkPad or the Lenovo Yoga ones, it can actually flip all the way back, okay? Now, you could pay a premium price for it to be a smaller, um, you know, size and with a bigger battery. Uh, do not uh, side look some of the, the, the companies that actually make the devices, like going to the Lenovo site or the Acer site because you can customize the laptops and they do run deals, okay? Straight from their laptop, from their um, comp or the company site, okay? So definitely don't overlook that. Okay, so let's talk about our other devices now. So let's talk about our iPad. So the biggest thing about this is, and we'll talk about some tablets in a minute, that are small, very cheap, just remember that those are not iPads, so one of the things with the iPad, you are paying a premium price. With an iPad, a lot of folks view, would view this not as their first device, but as more as a secondary device. Sitting on the sofa, want to watch a movie, um, need to do some work, want to browse the internet, and um, don't really want to view it as work. Now, Apple's more and more trying to push this to be more of a, you know, a work device. You can add a um, keyboard to it that's magnetic, that'll actually magnetize, but do realize that iPad does not have a USB port, okay? A lot of the tablets, a lot of the, the Surface will have a USB port just like it on a laptop, so it's kind of can be difficult to make do files back and forth. Now, if you do a, a lot of cloud stuff, like if you had the, if you're using the Google Cloud, uh, Google Docs or Google or uh, the Microsoft Cloud or anything like that, then kind of switching back will be a lot easier for you because you could load it here, type on a document here because it's all saving it to the cloud, and then go to your other devices if you want to do something that way. Okay. So different sizes, good for surfing the internet. You'll get a good fast internet surf with these. Um, I'll add one extra um, con as well. Uh, just realize that after a while, just like any of the Apple devices and the other ones as well, uh, not really so much as with the Windows computer. Um, someone may say, hey, I need to get a Windows laptop because I need to run software you know, that's 10 years old for whatever reason. Um, but do realize that because of the App Store and it can they can very quickly phase out using different software and stuff okay where if you're using kind of a windows uh 10 laptop or something you can still use software from you know 10 you know 20 years ago uh it can run put in like a compatibility mode run some older software if you need to um so blah, 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 yep different ways that you can get it uh, make it cheaper different cell phone companies as well. Uh, big con has a glare of the sun, which we'll talk about our ear readers in just a minute. And we kind of have a comparison here with our new iPad for going into fourth generation. Now, if you go to their website, they will compare the models on there talk about their base price of course some of those with the cell phone built-in connectivity you'll talk about the processor that's in there too and of course the big one is how uh, much space does it have on there may or may not care about the camera on these and it talks about the price the baseline price a lot of places the you can't really get unless it's like a bundle or something or get some kind of payment plan uh, these don't really the price doesn't really break too much talks about the size talks about the display and everything 
battery life, what to expect. Talks about the camera a little bit. So our camera is only at 12 megapixel, okay? Eight megapixel on the, the small one. Has all the stuff that you'd imagine like an iPhone would have as well. Sensors and everything. If we go down here, we get a good, good shot of them, okay? All right, so I'll say this. If you want an iPad, then you want an iPad. Some of the other things I'm going to talk about here will be a little different than the iPad. And when we talk about our cheap um, tablets, just realize the tablets are not as powerful as an iPad. So just realize that. So let's talk about our Android tablets. A big one here is, of course, our Kindle one from Amazon. And let's see, let me pull up. <laughs> well, there you go, I got it. There we go. All right, so here's our Fire tablets, which are very, very popular. Now, you can get some really good deals on that right around the holidays here. Here's the 8-inch screen. It's supposed to have a little bit better processor, and then they have like a kid's version as well. You'll see the price on these are not that bad. Sometimes you can get some of these as cheap as $40. It depends on what sales they have going on. And just realize that the big thing is um, you can actually get, uh, yeah, there's our prices there. So $40 for a kid one. Uh, they do have a thing of, uh, where is it? Anyway, they usually have one that you pay a little more and it'll be have left, less advertising on there. So if you get the cheapest one, it means when you wake your, it'll back up, it'll have a um, advertisement on the screen. Okay, so what are these made for? These are really made for uh, basically doing uh, Amazon stuff, meaning uh, they, they do audiobooks, the books they sell you, you can buy from there. Now, I'm very happy to tell you that our library app Libby works on these. So you could do the audiobooks, the ebooks, and everything on here, you know, free through the library. Just have your library card. Um, so that's great. But also, if you're a Prime member, you do get certain things that are free. Uh, so do realize that as well. Great device to watch in videos on. Uh, it's cheaper than an iPad. Now remember, it's not an iPad. And one of the big drawbacks is usually these don't really surf the Internet very well. Okay, just in general, because they're just a little bit a uh, slower processor and everything. Okay, so if you want to, if you need to do things like check email, um, the the Amazon devices do not out of the box support uh, the Google Chrome, the Google Docs and everything. So just realize that they don't allow apps on there uh, for that. Uh, but do realize there's lots of apps, lots of games. Um, Android, um, Amazon controls a lot of what's on the App Store unless you kind of unlock it and then you can install stuff from other App Stores as well, okay? Each company has a different interface. If you're getting something like this, Amazon Fire, no Google Docs app, you'd have to go to the main website to use that. Like we even saw one that's $40, okay? And if we go to... Check out our CNET reviews, kind of their best Android tablets and stuff. So the Google does make their own, okay?
very nice 10 inch screen galaxy would have a faster processor than the amazon fire ones would so i guess that's really their main uh, recommendations there so just realize that if you do purchase these you can do pretty much everything that the rest of just remember it's not as powerful as like a, a, a you know iPad is or a newer iPad is also your selection of apps may be different than they would be in the um, the app store okay on for Apple okay so let's talk about our different um, sections here first let's talk about our Microsoft Surface which we actually had pop up Pull that up here. Well, did I pass it? Oh, that was with the laptops. I'm sorry. Uh, so let me go back to. There we go. There you go. So uh, Surface, okay. Surface device. If we look at that, so basically our Surface device that we have here, the really cool part about it is basically it's a device that Microsoft makes, okay. So instead of a normal laptop, um, it is a device that Microsoft makes the software for it and it also uh, you know makes the hardware for it as well so the big thing about this is a lot of folks are actually calling these and it's kind of like a small little laptop but they're still kind of calling it the surface the big thing about these is um, some people say it's really the easiest best uh, Windows 10 experience is what they're saying so as you see this looks like an iPad with the keyboard hook to it they now have a, a lap, little laptop, so basically Microsoft now is making their own laptops, but they're kind of like a Surface, just with a keyboard built in as well. Um, the big thing about this is this is a Microsoft-made product with the Microsoft software on there, so like I said, it's supposed to be the best experience. They have other, I won't go into that, they have other products that they're working on too, and um, some people really do like these products the only thing I've run into is someone um, asking me, goes, hey, when I bought this device, I, I didn't realize I, need, I needed more, you know, hard drive space on the, on the, there to install more programs. So they had to get someone to um, basically open it up and, and upgrade it from the inside. So do you realize that some of these can cost as much as a normal laptop and it, it could be just kind of like a tablet? Uh, so do you realize that? okay but it do actually does have real windows 10 on it so that's a really big plus has real word real powerpoint and excel on there uh, surfs the internet well uh, to read books and papers backed by microsoft you can get the magnetic keyboard or this newer one that basically is a laptop um not as many apps as like an ipad i guess you could say now this over here is our Chromebook. There's a lot of folks that have even grown up with just using a Chromebook because a lot of schools um, would actually get funding to have Chromebooks in there and maybe not even really use the Mac or even a Windows uh, 10 computer too much, just had a Chromebook and like a cell phone. And talking about this, long battery life, it has uh, Google Docs built in. A lot of the time it has a cheap price I do warn about getting an expensive Chromebook and I think we had one in here a second ago let's see they've updated this so I'm not 100% sure there it is so getting an expensive Chromebook really wouldn't recommend because like I said with the Windows 10 um, machine you can download um, Chrome browser and have access to all the apps and everything like that as well okay so 
Uh, yeah, so that's basically a big recommendation there. Don't, don't, I would not recommend getting an expensive, you know, $700, $800 Chromebook. Uh, it does not have Windows on it. Um, all you can do is really the apps that you can download and have in a Chrome uh, browser uh, with the with not being able to run anything that has Windows in it at all and that would be the big the big drawback for me personally okay but like I said get a Windows 10 computer you can run all that uh, on there as well just in the Chrome browser okay so make sure this is an inexpensive device I would make sure to read reviews like the one they were viewing there was like three hundred dollars but do you realize this is an online only really device it wants to be online all the time so you can access everything you know that Google has to offer in the cloud okay hopefully I haven't been too confusing with that this is like its own thing uh, this runs real Windows 10 over here as well all right, so let's talk about our ebook readers. Okay, Amazon has some. The biggest thing to this compared to not getting a tablet, let's say you have a family member that is a ferocious reader. Okay, and they like taking books to the beach with them. They want to be on the go all the time with their book. They want to load up a whole bunch of books into their 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 device, not just one paperback book in their hand. Uh, a, a one of these e-readers would actually be a good idea with the ink okay the big thing is that the price is usually very cheap less than a hundred dollars we're talking about you can actually read it in the sun okay so because this is actually moving actual ink around it act when it locks it doesn't use any more energy so some of these have like a battery life of like a month or so uh, just because it only really uses energy when it's switching pages now some of these do glow in the dark so you can actually have a backlit, you know, reading in bed uh, with all the lights turned off and, and you know, not eye straining in any way. Uh, able to download new books and stuff. Some of these will actually have a browser built in. I would not recommend that it's in black and white. Just realize these are really just for, for ebooks, okay? Uh, some starting at 79 or so. Barnes & Noble sells one. Um, let me see if I can go back. The tablets. Let's see, where was I before? <laughs> ebook reader. Let's see. Oh, e-readers. Here we go. So this is their e-readers. There you go. A uh, more expensive one they're having right now. This is usually the holiday season when they're really doing a big break on these. I uh, just realized that um, this is one that likes to read ebooks a lot. Okay. So 89, there you go. Six inch screen. There's a kid friendly edition on there. So what is this one up here that, okay. So it's a, just a certain one that they use to sell for 129 for whatever reason. And right now it's at 99 and it kind of lists all the stuff on there so long battery life one side might it be kind of waterproof so this is kind of a specialty gift to someone see the ad supported right there so it will have some advertisements on it which is an interesting way to make their products cheaper But usually small, throw it in a bag, pull it out, read it. It'll remember your bookmarks. And because it can, a lot of these can actually keep a battery life like a month. It's something that you're not really concerned about charging as much. All right, so let's go into our next part here. Let's talk about our digital cameras. What kind of camera do you want? Okay, uh, I know we take a lot of pictures with our, our smartphones, so I, that's what I do a lot. Even though just I just have kind of a, a mid-range camera, mostly I'm taking pictures with my smartphone. And one big reason that is is because of the software that I can install onto my iPhone and uh, make changes, take better pictures at night. But 
a lot of times you may want a real camera or someone may be someone that really wants to take pictures. I hopefully foresee Apple taking an interest in making cameras and soon we'll have like the iCamera or something like that and then you could download all this software. So basically it's just a uh, glorified iPhone with a big lens on it, okay, or interchangeable lens with some other companies. But I don't know if that's their interest right now, but I think it would do very well. So, compact ones, easy to carry and use, the cons having a short zoom on there. Of course, this will still be a bigger zoom than what we would have on a uh, iPhone, okay? Even the latest one only does like a one zoom. This is kind of our medium here. How can you tell if it's a medium camera, uh, mid-range camera, a glorified point and zoom, point and shoot? If, you, if the lens doesn't come off, it's a glorified point and shoot, okay? But I like these a lot because a lot of the times they're very, they can get them a lot cheaper than really, really big cameras. Also, you get the big zoom on there and it's, it's kind of pull your camera out, zoom in, hit the button. The only negative part about this for me is that these, uh, the shutter lag, okay? And some blurriness with, with mine uh, gives me some issues sometimes. But you can still take a lot of good quality pictures with it too, especially with the big long zoom. Here's our full digital SLR, change out lenses. If you get a bundle, sometimes places like uh, uh, Sam's, Costco, around the holidays will actually have bundles for good prices for less than the $500 or so. This is your family member that wants to get really in professional photography or something. Maybe they're a vlogger. Maybe they want to take pictures, super, super duper excellent pictures and for their business or something. Or let's say they want to start their own, let's say, wedding photography business or, you know, portraits for uh, high school or college or something or sporting events. This is the kind of section you're going into. OK, so don't just view this as, oh, it's a big cost to it. It could be someone that wants to make it into a career. This could be a good first step to them. Uh, getting interested in that. Uh, changing out lenses, like I said, you can usually get uh, you know, a good bundle, have two lenses, maybe an extra battery or so. Make sure it's a well-known camera brand. Uh, this, this price is you don't mess around with. Big ones, Canon of course, uh, Nikon, uh, Samsung is doing some that look a little bit like uh, the point and shoot, just so that they're smaller body but then they also have the changeable lenses. And some of these you can actually get the same brands and then um, if you buy the new, new camera, you can use the lenses that the old camera used too. So think about that also with your purchase, okay? But again, the price will be much more than the other two that we talked about, okay? All right, now if anybody has any questions anytime, just let me know. Just post right into the chat. This is one of the big ones about coming to a class when I'm doing them live, because then you can ask me questions. All right, so let's talk. Oh, well, hang on. I did have a link to go to. So I got our uh, best camera gear, okay, 2020 up here. Let me see if I can try to get rid of any advertisements, but they still pop up anyway. So it kind of gives a little bit of an overview, kind of some of their top picks. GoPros are still very popular, okay? Uh, they've just come out with, uh, I think there's a 9 now, but this website might still be pushing the 8 because it does do uh, some stuff. But we're talking about someone that wants to do athletic stuff. They want to ride their bike and record. They even just want to do... Um, you know, touristy stuff, a GoPro is still a great idea. Click the button, put it on a, a, a hand stick, walk around with it, and boom, you shall get some really good um, shots and stuff. So I'm talking more about camera. There's some Sony's right there. As you see, they're trying to make the body seem a little bit easier to use, okay? But remember, your big thing is it's the digital SLR when the, when the lens changes. I, I would, I'm not recommending it, but there's actually a, a company in China right now that is basically taking a, an Amazon, um, excuse me, an Android phone, 
okay, and put it with a lens similar to this. So imagine kind of an Android phone here. Uh, I saw some tech people use it. Uh, it's just, I, I, I think it's more of just something in the beta stage. But of course, their big thing was then you could download all these camera apps uh, that you have, and maybe that'll help out with this. And I really feel like that could really make some really artistic things happen in the future. Um, but right now, they said it wasn't very good. But hopefully in the next five years, um, that will become more prevalent. Or like I even said, I'm hoping that um, uh, Apple will actually come up with an iCamera because all the software on the iPhone is excellent uh, with the little camera plus and night, night uh, view and different things like that. But wish I had a big long lens on it. So I foresee you could do that. I don't know why Apple wouldn't do that or, or uh, Samsung or anybody like that. Yeah, Samsung moving into selling, you know, certain things you can download the apps for. it. Here's a neat little drone thing. Of course, if you're thinking about, I, th I think I talk about the drones a little bit later. This is where I uh, don't really think about it, but uh, could this be for a business? Absolutely, this could be for a business. Someone that's a real estate agent, um, someone trying to do um, just events or real estate. Imagine someone clicking the button on, the, on a house and instead of just some still pictures, you actually see the 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 Android the Android the uh, drone fly over the house and you can see a great view of the backyard or even fly the the um, if it's a small enough even flying it around inside the house a little bit maybe certain rooms and then get a great view and post that on trying to sell a house there so that could actually start a, your a whole new business for you as well talking about some other cameras here's the Canon. There you go, cheap. I'll say cheaper. Olympus, Nikon. People love the Rebel. There you go, digital SLR, recommendations. Even YouTube streamers want a better camera than your just your phone. Your laptop has built in. There you go, right there. All right, so let's keep going here. Hopefully, I answered your questions about the cameras. Let's talk about some other great gifts: a flash drive and a portable hard drive. So, if you know someone that takes lots of videos, takes lots of photos and stuff, wants to back them up. Uh, some of these gifts can be as cheap as like $6.99 or so. Uh, give a flash drive, especially if they're a student. They may be real excited about that. An external hard drive, maybe they have a lot of stuff. Maybe they have lots of videos or stuff that they want to back up from their camera. Maybe their, their phone keeps getting full. They could transfer the pictures from their cam their phone and putting on their computer and backing up to a uh, external hard drive. Biggest thing is if the data is important enough, if it's videos, pictures, music, whatever it is, do you realize, or documents, if it's important enough, just have it in two places, okay? Have it on your laptop, have it on a, an external hard drive, have it on your cell phone, have it on in the cloud service. So just in case one of those, hap uh, something happens, it'll be able to sw you'll be able to have a backup of it. Just follow the rule of two. All right, so let's talk about our streaming devices here. The newest one that's being updated is our Google uh, Chromecast. Now, the reason I'm kind of highlighting that is because it used to that our older model Chromecast actually did not have a remote. And now this new one does. used to this was a device that was just 35 so they've actually increased the price of it and I believe this actually hooks up with let's see
Okay, I don't see that. They have like an online gaming service called Stadium. And I think you can use that with this. Let's see. Yeah, so this is kind of the older one. I guess this is a newer model of that. I would definitely recommend getting the one that has a remote on it. Okay. Definitely recommend doing that. Now, so that's our uh, the new uh, comp. Does it work with Stadium? Yeah, it does. Okay. So it actually would. So did have a gamer in the family and they have that service. This could be a good purchase for them. But the only negative thing about that is you have to have, you have to have a high speed internet and you have to have a lot of download space to download the games and stuff too. All right, so there's your Chromecast, plug it in with the remote. But I'll tell you the one that I really recommend, and we'll talk about that in a second, is Roku. So it's a dongle, plug into your TV. We're talking about YouTube. Uh, Netflix is actually going up in price a little bit. Some of these are actually going up. We'll talk more about this in our cord cutting class. So lots of streaming services. And I will tell you this, if you do have someone that is trying to uh, maybe save money, you know, I recommend them watching the cord cutting class, especially the one that we have coming up. And you can actually get gift cards. Uh, let's say you want to give somebody Netflix for three months or something. You can do that. Okay. You can do that. You can get gift cards for them. Give them that. They activate it and, and see how they like it. Disney Plus, I could see that too. All right, so let's talk about our Roku. Roku is one I really recommend. I bought many of these. <laughs> I, I really I'm give them to friends, family, stuff like that. Really, really like it. Has a remote. The really cool part about it is the newer one that they have, uh, which is about the $50 range one, is that it actually does have a remote on it that has a plus. Uh, you can turn the TV on and off. And you can turn the volume up and down as well. Okay. Most apps on it, easy to use. You can watch Pluto TV on there as well for free. They also have a Roku channel that you can watch for free. And um, things like Peacock now are on there. Uh, we'll be talking about the HBO uh, Max. They, they will, it'll be on there eventually. They're still in negotiations. Hulu Live. TV, YouTube, YouTube TV Live, Sling TV is on there as well. Also, another really great gift is an Amazon uh, Echo Dot. The price range is usually $50 or less. Now, I think I saw them doing one. Um, they have a newer one that has a bigger head. I guess it's for the speaker to be bigger. It does look a little odd compared to these here, um, but there's been selling it for like $30. Um, but mostly it looks like it's something to play music with. So kind of has its own built-in speaker. Good gift, a great idea to kind of get them started, especially if you have a friend or family member that you want them to kind of get started using the smart uh, stuff to turn the TV, the, the lights on and off. Their, Amazon has been doing a plug for free for 99 cents. Um, I think if you're a Prime member, so I definitely would recommend getting involved in that. And you can actually turn it, um, you know, turn things on and off. Christmas tree on and off. Set a timer on the Christmas tree on and off. So there you go. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, one big plus about that too is with the uh, Alexa app on your phone. Uh, with those smart plugs, you could actually uh, turn them on and off when you're not at home. So if you're away and you go, I think, I, I don't know if I had the living room light on when I left. Turn it on so you're not coming into a house in the dark or something like that. All right, let's talk about our antenna. So a really great gift also could be getting someone an antenna. Now, a reason I mention that is also means that they may need some help to, to set it up, okay? Set up the antenna, plug in the TV, show them how to use it and all that. So this could be a great gift saying, hey, I got you an antenna, here it is, and I'll also show you and help you how to use it too. Big thing about this is it could save them money. Um, some of our, even the streaming services now, um, like Hulu Live have lost our local ABC and there's another local, I think Dish Network now has lost the local ABC as well. 
WJBF. So that could cut into someone watching local news, which is very important to watch. Local news can affect you very much more than uh, maybe a lot of the national news can. So I need to keep up with that as well. Talk about what kind of antenna you need. The biggest thing is that basically you find out where your distance is. How do I find out what my distance is? You can go to dtv.gov uh, website, put in your zip code, put in your address. Antennapoint.com is what I really like. You can see your TV listings. It'll tell you how far away you are. In our area, CSRA, we're, our signal really does come from North Augusta. Okay, The PBS channels come from a little bit different, but it's mostly the North Augusta uh, section. And uh, the big thing about that is that still tell you your distance from that, and then you get an antenna that's in that range. So if you live in Augusta, you could get by with one of these. Definitely if you live in North Augusta, you could definitely get by with one of these. And you'll get all the fun channels, the MeTV, um, which is an excellent channel. Just with the antenna, someone trying to save money and stuff, MeTV, uh, which is one of the free channels connected to the WJBF. And I'm looking for their schedule. They have Sci-Fi Saturday, always have something kind of retro fun uh, shows on and stuff. Andy Griffith show, stuff like that. And it could be somebody's favorites, you know, Perry Mason, The Twilight Zone, Alfred Hitchcock Hour, all kinds of stuff. And on Saturdays, they do a lot of sci-fi um, shows as well, okay? So just classic TV, getting that with an antenna, stuff that people like to watch. Time-tested television. Also, there's a PBS Kids 24 Hours Kids channel. So that could be actually be really helpful as well. And Grit TV, uh, Bounce, uh, show movies constantly. It's like two movie channels. All right, let's talk about some other tech stuff. Here's a big one right here. Have a family member that listens to music at any time almost. Well, or are they making a lot, do they make a lot of phone calls? Well, are they doing a lot of uh, Skyping? Are they doing a lot of uh, Zooming? Well, they may want some better headphones, okay, with the microphone built in and stuff. So that's actually a great gift is some headphones. You can get all kinds of stuff. Uh, one of them that I personally like is there's a, uh, I would actually recommend... Of course, there's the real expensive ones that are, um, you know, by Apple. They also have some that is Skull Candy, and I'll show you. They have over the ear ones. They also have wireless headphones as well. If you prefer the earbuds over the ears, you just kind of have to look up the. Uh, recommendations. I'm going to show you the one that I recommend if I can find it on here. See there's the earbud ones, wired. Those are the ones that go in your ear. Here we go. These are actually a great pair. They just have one cord that goes around the back. This could actually help out someone that does a lot of walking or running or anything. Um, the good part about it is you, they don't just fall out of your ear. <laughs> uh, so if you and they're just thirty dollars too. Uh, they have a cheaper pair that work well, but this is a very nice pair and it kind of fits right in your ear and it has a really different bud sizes and stuff. So it's a great uh, gift uh, to give to somebody. For just thirty dollars, okay. I have a pair of these myself, and I really like them. Okay, so let's talk about some fun stuff. Do you realize that there's things like little mini console? Uh, if someone's a retro uh, gamer person, let me show you this. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called.
There are some things like mini Genesis consoles are about seventy dollars. You usually get a little bit cheaper than that. Had tons of games in there that are on the shelf right now. Uh, this one also a Nintendo Switch or a Nintendo Switch is three hundred. Nintendo Switch Lite is two. Um, those are great products as well. This is actually a newer little thing that uh, I feel like this is more just like of a retro thing. Uh, the problem is you think it would be like 40 bucks or something. It really only plays one game, and that's the original Super Mario Brothers. Uh, it is $50, which does seem a little bit higher than what you could get with some other stuff. And when I say $50, so that just means if I paid a, 150 bucks more, I could get someone a Nintendo Switch. So then you're like, oh, well, that the $50 may not mean much much because I could... I, you know, I can buy for pretty cheap to be able to play that game if you wanted to, but it's a neat little device. It's unique. Nintendo isn't going to make a lot of these. The original Super Mario Brothers, which made its debut on NES in 1985, can now be played on this special Game & Watch system. A plus control pad is included, so you can play the game smoothly. Since it's a Game & Watch product, it also functions as a clock. And in honor of the game's 35th anniversary, it comes with 35 little touches to discover. In addition, you can play the Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels game on it, as well as an updated version of the title Game & Watch Ball starring Mario. Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers will launch November 13th. The original Nintendo handheld gaming system is back in full color liquid crystal display. It's kind of a niche thing. If it had more games on it, then it would definitely be a must buy. But it's kind of a niche. Uh, it just did say Super Mario Bros. 2 on it, but that's the Japanese harder edition. That's not the one we got here in the US. But if someone is like kind of a retro game fan, this could actually be a good good thing for them or uh, I'm not gonna say see if you can find a cheaper price than $50 because that's the standard price but uh, there you go right there so it only really has one game on it <laughs> uh, but there you go right there all right so that's kind of a neat thing you may see that in the stores and I always recommend anything anything that someone likes if they have a camera if, if another family member is going to get them something and you know about it maybe talk to them about getting some accessories if family members buying them a camera family members buying them let's say a switch uh, you know some other kind of gaming thing then what accessories would they need do they need memory cards do they need a nice travel bag uh, with it is there a certain game and uh, item that they need if they're getting a camera maybe they need a bigger memory card so not only your gift may be involved in another family member's gift, how can you accessorize, you know, give a bonus. Someone already has um, something like a cooking thing, like an Instapot, air fryer, something like that. Are there accessories that could go along with that that could kind of help them out, give them more options, maybe even something they may not purchase themselves and, uh, you know, add, add to what they have already. Okay, so if we scroll down here and we talk about, uh, whoop, scroll down here, we talk about uh, drones, USB battery chargers. So we showed a drone a little bit. Drones can be fun, stuff you can do it out the doors. A more professional drone, kind of like I was talking about, you could actually turn it into a, a business if you wanted to. The other thing is uh, definitely think about uh, battery chargers, okay? So a battery charger, I'm going to pull something up. A battery charger for, oh, it's pulling up car battery chargers, hang on. Uh, okay. Now, this could even be just, you're the, you're the, um, the winner of the day. You'll go with friends or family places, and then all of a sudden one of them's phone's about to die, and if you pulled out a battery charger and said, hey, here, plug in, charge your phone, charge your device, 
something like that, that could actually be make an event. Uh, uh, you could be the hero of an event. Um, they also make ones, and let me show this on here. So they make one, this is not an, an, ex, uh, an expensive gift. Some of these you can find is less than $10 even. Um, the big thing is to kind of look at the, uh, the MAH, okay, the milliamps on there, and it kind of basically just tells you how long a charge they will, how capacity they'll have. The bigger that is, the longer more things that you can charge with it. Um, let's see. Like I said, it's a very not a very ex expensive gift. One thing that's really neat and I've come across lately is there's actually one that is also a heater. Let's see. Yeah, so this is interesting. I don't know this brand exactly. There's a bunch of brands that I've seen do this. And I've also seen one at a, a, like a Walmart. But not only does it do, I'm not endorsing this one, I, I'm just, just showing. But also you can turn on, oh, this one has a flashlight it looks like. That's great. So it's a flashlight but it also has, if you have a family member that, you know, gets cold a lot, uh, they make some out there that are like hand warmers. So not only is it a battery pack to charge your cell phone with, but it's also an electric hand warmer as well. So that would make a fantastic gift uh, for someone. I've seen, you know, them cheap as $15 or so. You just kind of have to, to find it and stuff. Okay. Again... Big help just about anybody needs this at this point. Uh, charge a device, and a lot of things work on USB that we may not even realize. Um, let me see. Talked about that, covered that a little bit. Yeah, it's a great stocking stuffer, too. I'm going to say something else. What I was going to do, maybe I'll think about it in a minute. But yeah, accessories they have something to accessorize a little bit. Especially if you're if someone's getting something that's like a um, maybe they're going to get a new cell phone for Christmas. <coughs> a good idea is maybe maybe they need um, you know a new case. Maybe they do have a phone that they can put in a new memory card in there. Maybe they want one of those um, uh, pops on the back of their phone so they don't drop their phone. Maybe they need a new screen uh, case on the front of those. Walmart actually sells some of those fairly cheaply so yeah okay so let's talk about kind of our gifts for people that like to code work on stuff electronics um, but maybe they don't want to uh, mess around with their main laptop for school or work or whatever so a Raspberry Pi is a great one to do that with what is a Raspberry Pi well Raspberry Pi is a little computer okay and you'll see that I have many classes about the Raspberry Pi working on different projects and um, it's just a lot of fun. You can turn it into just like a media player. Play movies on there. You can rip your DVD collection and, and rip your Blu-ray collection or whatever to there. And then have it organized. And you can even do home movies as well. Make a home movie section. And have that all organized with photos and everything too. Uh, so plug into monitor com computer. It can actually run like a full-blown computer like this. There's a newer model out there, which is the 4, which is what's uh, being shown there. I'm going to show a little video here in a second. You could do scratch projects with it. All kinds of fun stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and show that to you now. They've actually come out with a newer model that actually is built in, has a built-in keyboard. So that's actually pretty interesting. And how much are they selling that for? It is, it depends on which one you get, I believe. Let's see. Okay, so with the built-in keyboard, that's about $100 because it's the four uh, gig version on there. But you may need all that. Uh, the interesting thing is that, and I'll play the video here.
So that's their newer uh, product, okay, with the built-in keyboard. But a lot of us just kind of want to go to the normal, I guess you say, because we already have the keyboard and stuff. So that would actually just be the Razer Pi 4, which is their newest one out there. Allows you to do lots of projects, Python, Scratch on there. And then the, the exciting part about it is being able to do different wired projects. It actually starts off at 35, but you still need power for it. And this is kind of a show, an example of plugging in and using it as a desktop. So it's great for projects. It's, as you see, it's kind of showing off its part about, you know, using it as a PC. It does have a 4K display uh, output. It's a much faster processor than the previous versions of it, which were still $35 <laughs> starting. So uh, I actually recommend some of the kits because it doesn't actually come with uh, the built-in I mean, excuse me, it doesn't actually come with the, the power and stuff. So I actually recommend getting one of those because it will give you um, probably the four gig grant ones recommended. And with the basic kit, about $70 or so because it'll have uh, the power that goes with it as well. This also, this uh, um, Kana kit, I've, have, I've bought a few of those from them. I usually buy them off of Amazon, so the price is there on Amazon. And it just allows you to do lots of different projects. And the cool part about it too is on their website, they have um, projects listed, kind of all age groups, getting started with your Raspberry Pi, coding with Python, coding with Scratch, working on all kinds of different projects. We do a lot, I do a lot of classes um, based on these projects with our Raspberry Pi. Lots of fun stuff to do. Just fun project after another, and it allows you to, to set all that up using the Razer Pi uh, with the wiring and everything. Another one I recommend is probably one of the kits if you do know someone that does have a Razer Pi already and want them to go beyond that a little bit. Um, the free Novi kits, and I'll do a So they sell them on Amazon. They'll have everything built in and not right now. Everything built in with the little LEDs and everything. All you need is a Raspberry Pi and they actually have all the, the levels on there, not levels, but instructions and everything to do the different projects with, with it. And some of them are cheap as there's a forty dollar one is what one of the classes I'm doing with our um, other one I think yeah this is actually the one that I bought $40 has all this stuff involved and also it does involve instructions and projects for each okay so it has all that involved just for $40 and it has instructions to do all the different projects with Python and coding and everything so trying to get to Maybe a kit that that like a like a uh, 
Radio Shack would used to sell. This is definitely uh, one of those. <laughs> and then they can do all the projects um, that's listed in the handout and everything. So big recommendation on that. A lot of fun. And you can make game like a game system too um, out of it as well with using the the, the retro pie. Okay, so let's talk about some of those things that you may not really think about, but may give you some good ideas. Well, there's actually app stores, okay? They have an, an Apple device, okay? Remember, a good gift card would allow them to rent, buy, uh, do, you know, maybe even a month or two of the streaming service, um, the iTunes Apple streaming service. I'm, not a, I'm trying to remember what the actual name is. But also, like I said, a gift card, maybe to use Netflix, maybe to use Hulu. Um, if they're a gamer, maybe a game, a gift card to like, let's say GameStop or Xbox Live or even PlayStation, depending on which system they have and stuff. And then they'd be pretty satisfied with getting um, that, be able to use that, okay. Good thing about a gift card is because if you find, you know the person um, you, in some of these stores, if you actually get a gift card in the store, I know they have the kiosks at Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, places like that. But at some places, if you actually do get the gift card in the store, they'll actually give you a little bit of a bonus thing, maybe a card holder, maybe something f fancy. I know some makeup places will do kind of like a, a mirror compact and it goes makes your gift a little bit more special. All right, so recommended places online, of course, is our Tiger Direct. Of course, talk about um, Amazon.com. And I won't go into it too much, but basically, remember they do have their daily deals up here. And you can kind of scroll down where they have their different sections. Top brands, Amazon deals toys, games, and you kind of give a brief description or just kind of type in something and it'll suggest things to, uh, to purchase for people, like in their age group, okay? See, lots of great ideas. All right, now let's go on down to our, we talked about our reviews a little bit. Let's talk about one of our really good holiday gift guides is through CNET. And their holiday gift guide, and I had a different one too. But our housekeeping has a holiday gift guide as well. Anyway, you can go here, and the cool part about it is, okay, go away, advertisement. The um, the exciting part is they'll actually talk about gifts under $30, gifts under $50, under $100, under $250. You're thinking about a, like a big gift to give you some ideas. So let's do, we'll do the gifts under $30. Amazon Fire Stick. Like I said, I definitely recommend the Roku um, as my big recommendation. There are some low price headphones. So why would someone want an alarm clock? Well, people still may need alarm clock to make sure they get up. Some of these you can get inexpensive and it'll actually have a phone charger on there as well. Um, some inexpensive head buds. This is a big recommendation right here. I have one of these. It's similar. And I really enjoy it. Um, uh, cooking, grilling steaks inside. So it's a big recommendation right here. Usually they're pretty inexpensive. And it has a, gives it a really good flavor too. And I have the one that has the lines on it. 
So make sure you get one that has lines on it. Let me look at that real quick. There you go. Has some lines on it. Uh, you can get these pretty inexpensively. I know Walmart and different places uh, sell these. Oh, this one has a, a handle. That's nice. But yeah, it's a big recommendation on that. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, all kinds of fun, great things you can do. Pretty inexpensive, and it makes a great gift and everything, too. All right, so let's scroll down here. There's the dots that we talked about a little bit, the Echo Dots. And like I said, these actually hook in the music. If you do have Spotify or Apple Music, you can get them to connect with that, too. There's the Roku. Woo! Now, this is the cheaper Roku. I actually don't recommend the cheaper Roku because if you pay 20 bucks more, you get the power on and you can turn the volume up and down. And it's a different kind of the way that it connects so you don't have to point it at this every time. Okay, So I actually don't recommend the cheaper one. I actually recommend the one that costs a little more. Now the Wise Cameras, big recommendation on that for security. You can have it so it just kind of points out the window and stuff and it will connect up and work with your Alexa devices. If you have like Alexa devices as screens and stuff, and also allows you to have a real camera looking outside. Here's kind of our, our smart plugs that I kind of talked about earlier. Uh, easy way if you have an Alexa device, um, like the, so these kind of all work in tandem, I guess you could say. Have one of these, then you can easily use a plug, okay? Say, you know, the Alexa and turn it on and off. Of course, I won't say that too much. Um, but you can do it, label things like the Christmas tree, uh, light in the living room, have light bulbs, and they have different kits that you can get as well. Turn the things on and off, kind of like a ver verbal clapper, so you don't have to do the clap in your hands on and off. And we talked about the, uh, the bank right there, like I even said once, some of those actually allow you to uh, have it where it gives off heat. So a family member that really likes uh, the hand warmers, you can get a good cheap pack of those, send it to them uh, there. So if it's cold uh, uh, morning going to school or something, they can use that, put them in the hands. They even make ones that they can put in their shoes too. Uh, so yeah. There you go. More flash drives, kind of like what we talked about. Ah, playing a board game with other folks. And let's go back up. We'll go back. Let's look at our under 50. This is a great device right here. It has a screen on it. It does Alexa. So big recommendation on that. Here's a Lenovo. Depends on what your, your system that you like. If you prefer the Google stuff, that'll work too. Again, talking about um, earbuds, maybe you want something that's a little more beefy, I guess you could say. Here's your Bluetooth speaker right there. Great gift. And this is the one that I recommend is the streamer stick one. Like I said, the $50 range one. Because the big thing about this is it has to turn the TV on and off. And you can turn the volume up and down on the TV as well. Very friendly, very easy to use kind of all ages big recommendation that's my big recommendation for someone that wants to start learning to, to do um, streaming or cut the cord and stuff 
This is kind of cute. Let's see. Some kind of coffee. I'm not big in the coffee, but maybe something like that. Someone would really like. I actually, when I got new prescription glasses, the guy said we can put in the ice train stuff. I said, sure. So my glasses actually have a little bit of tint of yellow, similar to this, to help relieve eye strain. But you can get separate glasses as well. And here's a really big charger. Okay. Oh, which means it's a good choice for even for a high-end laptop. Ah, okay. Might look into that. Hmm. Wow. So that could actually charge a laptop that uses USB-C. Is that what it's saying? Let's see. Oh, for MacBook. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's just an extra. Oh, it says Surface. Dells. Okay. I'll have to look that into a little bit better. So is that a portable battery? Okay, no. This looks like it's a different power uh, supply. Okay, so it's just a charger. Okay. All right, so wireless keyboard, you can't beat that. Logitech, I really do recommend their products in general. This allows you to plug your laptop into, let's say, a, a HDTV, and then you can sit on the sofa. There you go, right there. There's the Fitbit connecting up. There also is a, I can do the search here. The Wise Companies actually come out with a few new products this year. And one of them is, oh, they're actually doing it for 19. One of them is actually a, it's a scale that's Wi-Fi. Okay. So it actually connects up. It keeps track of weight. It also keeps track of other things too. It'll take your heart rate, all kinds of different things. I call it ways, but it's actually wise. But anyway, so right now they're actually selling it for 19. It's on sale. Big recommendation on that. It's a great scale. 
All right, so kind of coming to the end of class here. <laughs> See, told you the sun would change. All right, so here we are. We've come to the end of class here. We've covered a lot, haven't we? We talked about laptops, cameras, tablets, all kinds of great deals on there as well. Um, of course, you can do searches and also keep up to date with, uh, if you have an iPhone, the Apple News, a lot of the times they'll post a lot of the, the like top 10 great gifts and stuff. I really do like the CNET one. Um, uh, Better Housekeeping actually has one as well. Uh, to give good um, ideas, a little bit more on the softer side, um, I guess you'd say. I think I can show you that link real quick. See if I can find that real quick. Let's see. Well, oh, I know where it is. Hold on. I know where it is. That's in the Internet Shopping Digital Coupon in Handout. So... There it is. And I'll post that in there as well. There we go. Like I said, it kind of shows uh, stuff more on the softer side. <laughs> So these are all great gift ideas as well. See, amazing gift for kids, impressive teen, boy and girl, twin girls. So you get your teen wants, and they have some fun stuff in here. 60 best gifts for all the men in your life. Let's see, all kinds of budget stuff, stuff kind of for everybody. Pillars, cooking stuff, ooh, chef stuff. Check out chef stuff. Oh, I, is it a gallery? I can't see it all at one time. Okay, it's like a countdown thing. Anyway, truffle oil. Personalized cutting board. Let's see. Wow, splash guard. You're I have to tell you, if your cooking is needs that, whoosh, put a lid on it. A mushroom log kit? <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. What would that be like? A mushroom log kit. Okay. Oh, it's from a website called Uncommon Goods. That's wild. I didn't know you could do that. Here's your log. Hopefully that would not have a smell to it. Okay. That's wild. So we've definitely learned of an interesting uh, gift, haven't we? A food vacuum sealer. Oh, that's great. Pasta roller. Feast mode. Let's see. Oh, Chef Nice Set.
Here set. Gain opener. Girl and the goat, 10 year birthday kit for four. Girl and the goat restaurant includes everything you need to whip up some of the chef Stephanie Izzard signature dishes. Interesting. Well, lemon tree. Espresso machine. Outdoor pizza oven, $600, sure. All right, so that's the Better Homes and Gardens one. It has some interesting stuff in it. So hopefully it gives you some new ideas. So we're basically getting, we're wrapping up class here. And I hope that you learned something new and maybe gave you some good ideas. Realize that the biggest thing about giving a gift is think about the person. What would they think is interesting? What have you seen them do in the past that was similar? Um, are they getting another gift? Can you maybe accessorize that gift? Uh, or maybe you are going to get them a big gift and you want to get them, you know, not sure what else to get them. There you go. I recommend some family members to get some stuff to accessorize that. So let's go ahead and talk about our class for tomorrow. So tomorrow is a really fun one, okay? We're gonna be doing our internet shopping digital couponing, which kind of connects up with this class. So definitely come for me on that one. We'll also talk about some scam sites or sites that if you're not sure what it is, uh, but you still want to make a purchase, just remember the classic thing, if it is too good to be true, it probably is. Um, we'll talk about ways of keeping yourself online when shopping, also digital couponing. We'll talk about daily deals, apps, extra deals. We'll talk about restaurants that have apps as well, uh, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, stuff like that. Um, they, some of those restaurants, they'll throw food at you constantly if you just make sure to scan your app and stuff. Also, tomorrow afternoon, we'll be doing our 3D Holiday Blender. Come make, join us making a 3D snowman, okay? We'll create our snowman from hand, and we'll also colorize our snowman as well as we kind of learn some of the basics of using our 3D machine blender. It's completely free to download, and I'll give you instructions and stuff like that too. And then on Thursday, a big one right here is our doing our digital snowflakes one at 11. But a really big one that's really important, if you've even seen one of my cord cutting classes in the past, been to one of my classes, definitely recommend this to everybody. We're doing the cord cutting and we're going to be talking about not only the basics, but we're also going to be talking about getting into the digital stuff, talking about how some of them are going to change. And we'll be talking about that Thursday afternoon. And then we just have one more week here in December. So make sure you're getting your gifts already ordered so that they'll be in the mail plenty of time and everything. And hopefully my gadgets and gifts here have actually given you some good ideas. Uh, just a little side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call in the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, do you realize we are doing a subscribe drive? So if we can get 100 subscribers to our YouTube channel, we can get our own customized YouTube address. Or just search YouTube for GCHRL videos and our channel will pop right up. Okay, we've come to the end of class. Unless there's any other questions or anything, we'll go ahead and start wrapping stuff up. We've covered a lot. This is a lot of fun uh, class. Hopefully, I gave you some good ideas, some good tips, especially getting new camera, laptop, stuff like that. And uh, keep yourself safe online. And uh, tomorrow, when we talk about our internet shopping, digital couponing, I'll kind of lead you in to make sure that you're buying from places that you know of. And I've recently had some folks ask me about, hey, is this a legitimate site? I found the, a product like one-fourth of the price it should be 
from the company site and I'm like I don't know not really sure what this is but then it maybe seems too good to be true okay we'll talk about some tips on that uh, keeping yourself safe and stuff um, there you go all right thank you so much for being here today <laughs> Go outside. It's a little bit starting to get a little bit dark outside, of course. Um, but do you realize that we are, you know, getting into December and stuff, and that's where we are. So that's what that's about. Uh, stay positive. Stay happy How about that. And definitely stay safe as well. So I'll see you guys next time, next class. Have a great day. <laughs> bye bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>